All right, this will be the third quiz for the face anterior neck. Um, again, once we're done asking the questions, we will tell you, you can pause, go back, look over your answers, and then when you're ready, unpause, and we'll, we'll go over the answers together. All right, number one. Uh, I'm actually, eh, we can probably just leave this just like that. All right, number one, if we start at the tip of the chin, we work our way down, we come over one, two, three structures here, I want you to identify the first one right here. That's number one. Number two. All right, we're gonna take this muscle, reflect it. We're gonna take this one, reflect that. We're gonna take these two muscles here and we're gonna reflect those. Lastly, we're gonna take this muscle here and we're gonna reflect that. And I want you to tell me what structure did we uncover right here. That's number two. Number three is gonna have two parts. So let me just put this stuff back. Let's take this guy, move it down. And we'll just uncover like this a little bit. And two parts here. Three A is gonna be identify this whole structure here that I'm outlining. That's three A. And then three B is to identify this little two that comes off of here. So three A. 3B. Number four is we're gonna move up a little bit. And right here, we wanna identify, you can see it just a faint outline of it, identify this muscle right here. The fibers are going in this direction. Identify that muscle. That was number four. Number five is here. And I think, no, nah, we'll do it over here, it's fine. So number five is right here. So we kind of got these two muscles that are related to each other. We're gonna come right next to those. So right in here, I want you to identify this muscle here, which is going down this way, right here. So it starts here goes down, ends right there, this muscle. That was number five. Number six is we come over here and we identify this muscle right here. That's number six right there. Number seven is over here. So let's just get this down out of the way a little bit. We're gonna, we got a little bit of vessels here. I'm just gonna pull these vessels up and out of the way a little bit. And we wanna identify this whole muscle that we're seeing all in this area here. And I'm just gonna push up against the inside of this muscle. You can see me moving it a little bit there. This whole thing all around here, identify that muscle. Number eight is, let me just move, spread this back out like that. And number eight is a little hard to see. Let me just grab another probe here. Fine one, All right, so. Let me make sure I got the number. Yep, number eight here. So right here, we have this muscle that I'm kind of outlining right there. So I'm gonna kind of leave a probe right on the edge of that muscle. Then we got have a muscle that surrounds this area here. I'm just gonna leave a probe along the bottom edge of that. And then I wanna know what muscle is located in between the probe, the probes here, right in this area, right there. Name that muscle that's located in between those two probes. That was number eight. Number nine, we have two little muscles, one on each side that are located right here and right here. We don't have a clean picture of them, but they, they go up and down right here and right there. I wanna know what muscle is located 
this area right here and that area right there. Uh, number 10 is we're gonna go back to the same spot here. We're gonna grab the corner of the mouth and we're just gonna lift it up a little bit. And I want you to identify this muscle right here that I'm outlining. There, identify that muscle. That's number 10. For number 11, number 11 is gonna be, you're gonna give me two things for number 11. I want you to name the two groups of muscles that suspend your answer for number one. Your answer for number one was this guy right here. This one right here. What two groups of muscles suspend your answer for number one? So put both of those down for 11. For number 12, I want you to name one movement that number four can perform. Name one movement that number four can perform. Well, I say one, the only movement that number four can perform. That's for 12. For number 13, I want you to tell me for your answer for number 3B, which was this here. This was number 3B. If we follow, actually, let me just move this a little bit so we can see it better. There we go. So 3A was this, 3B was this. If we follow 3B over, I want you to tell me what other number on this quiz does 3B pass through? That would be for number 13. And then for number 14, I want you to tell me what would happen or, or what would we see if number six, which is this one here, here was number six, this guy right here. If number six was bifurcated, that means that it's forked like this. If number six was forked, what would we see or what would happen? That's it, all right? So pause if you need more time to go over the answers. And when you're ready, unpause and we'll go through them together. All right, number one. Number one, we started up here at the tip of the chin, we move our way down, we kind of had one, two, three things. First one, hyoid bone, that's what we want. That was number one. Number two was we moved a whole bunch of these muscles, so we get platysma out of the way, sternocleidomastoid out of the way, sternohyoid and omohyoid out of the way, Whoops, if I can do that here. Then we got sternothyroid out of the way. And then what do we uncover here? Thyroid gland. That was number two. Number three had those two parts. So we kind of move this over here, up over here. Sorry, let me just get, let's put this back down. Let's go back down with platysma. Let's get platysma over here like that, perfect. 3A was the parotid gland, this whole thing. 3B was the parotid duct, that part there. Four was up here, the muscle right along the side of the nose here is nasalis, that was four. Number five was this muscle here in this area right here, and that's gonna be levator labii superioris. Number six, we kind of uh, highlighted these two guys here, and out of those two, we wanted this one, and that's gonna be zygomaticus major. Number seven was over here. We kind of moved this stuff. We got these little vessels out of the way, and we wanted to know what was this muscle that we're seeing here in that area, and that's gonna be your bucinator muscle seven. Number eight was, we kind of move platysma back in place. And here we highlighted, I kind of highlighted this one, which is depressor anguli oris, and we kind of put a probe there. And then we highlighted um, 
orbicularis oris going around here and I kind of put a probe there and we want to know what is located in between those two things and that was going to be depressor labii inferioris. Uh, number nine was we want to know what muscle is located right here kind of on the tip of the mandible on either side and that's going to be mentalis. Number 10 was back over here. I kind of grabbed the corner of the mouth, lifted up a little bit, it was to identify this muscle right here, and that is going to be depressor anguli oris. Number 11 was what two groups of muscles suspend your answer for number one, which was the hyoid bone, and that is going to be the infrahyoid muscles and the suprahyoid muscles. They hold the hyoid bone in place there. Then for number 12, name one movement that nasalis can do, number four, and that flares your nostrils. Number 13 was if we followed 3B, which was the parotid duct, if we follow that over this way, what does it pass through? What other number on the quiz? And that would be the bucinator muscle it passes through. And that was number seven. So you want to say, what does 3B pass through on the quiz? You would have said it passes through number seven, bucinator. And then for number 14, we want to know what would happen if zygomaticus major was forked. And that would be, you would have dimples. The skin in between that fork when you smile would depress a little bit and that's what gives you dimples. There's a bifurcated or a split or forked zygomaticus major. That's it.